a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit? Yes. You Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong men. And there's a lot of women walking around who slept with so many people, they don't even know the number. So they're guesstimating. Don't get it twisted. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit? Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit? Yes. You Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong men. If a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the Ron man, and he can get fucked. Like, that's so fucking stupid. So, get fucked. So, can I ask you this then? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, what do you think about the analogy, if one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key, as opposed to if you have a lock that can be opened by any key, it's a shitty lock. I think that if a, no, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman. And you should probably get fucked. So, if a woman is a key to you, talk to your mom. Talk to your sister. Talk to your cousin. I don't know. Get a real fucking life. And get fucked. I've never seen... I've never seen this. Um, I've never seen a woman articulate her point you know, so gracefully. And so let's just, let's just address men and body counts. A man is always going to care. Like just let's get over this, this hump. A man is always going to care how many people you slept with. If there was two women look the same, act the same, on the same playing level field. Okay. And you knew one slept with eight people and one slept with 80 people. If you were a man, who are you going to try to wife up? Who would you want to be your girlfriend? I mean, it just makes more sense. Like, you don't want a woman who slept with your cousin's best friend's homeboy, because that's embarrassing. And plus, you want a woman who has self-control. A man's always going to care about the body count, but the thing about that is, most women are going to lie about their body count. So it really doesn't even matter when you ask. Like, a lot of women, most women are going to lie. So you really don't get anywhere with that. I mean, as long as she hasn't slept with a lot of people in your circle or in your state or in your hometown where, you know, she's known to be the, the town hoe or slut or something like that, then you'll probably be good. You'll probably be okay. Cause like I said, you're, you're not gonna know anyway. And there's a lot of women walking around who slept with so many people, they don't even know the number. So they're guesstimating. I also want to talk about the key lock analogy. I get it. And for those who don't understand, the woman JJ is supposed to be like the lock and the man's penis is supposed to be the key. So that's why the analogy that, you know, a lock that can be opened by any key isn't a good lock, but a key that can open any lock is a master key. It just... It sounds stupid. It just does sound stupid. I mean, you should just, you should not just want to sleep with a whole bunch of people because it, it, as a woman, it makes you feel terrible. So ladies, if you do decide to give up your body to a man, watch this video right here and please do not give your body to a man like this. And Kings, my guys, do not give off this man's type of energy. You're better than that. Y'all can get up on my house now.